So, hello everyone, welcome back here on the channel. This is Parking Lee from Race Department. Today, I will show you how to install my Formula One 2020 modular mods system. It was requested to make a small video, uh, though I was sure like it's pretty clear what to do. But anyway, all right, we will do this. So, first of all, you should own Formula One 2020, which would be pretty obvious, right? Okay, then you have to check out at race department, the Formula 1 2020, the game, check out the mods. Uh, you can go for the search here. I even say forum. You pick up the world, or the word modular, this forum, search titles only. And you'll find my current system, like how my mods are going to work. And we need at first the modular mods base files. It's the requirement for every other mod that is using these base files. So, oh, we have a new review. No, it's not new. Okay, anyway, so we have the overview page you should check out at first. Well, you're doing right now in a video, so I guess it's the same. Because I will just show you everything that's written down here. And it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. How to set it up what to do and where to place the mods. All right, so we hit the download button here. We want to download the base files. Then we check out our downloads folder. All right, here is the zip file we just downloaded. And we will open our Formula One 2020 folder where Steam is saving this game. So here it is. This is my Formula One 2020 folder. Uh, a little bit messy but hey anyway so here's the zip file we open the zip file again there's the readme file the readme file says exactly the same as the overview page and here we have it just formula 1 2020 the same like oh you could just already click there copy here copy paste it there okay we will copy those files modular mods and 20 2020 asset groups you just copy these two folders you paste these two folders um, yeah, I already have uh, have all those files inside, so I will not overwrite them because I have edited it for another modding purpose sake. Anyway, so these are now new. Well, they're not new. Really new for you is the modular mods folder. It comes with an underline. You should never, I say again, never uh, rename this mod folder. Never rename it, else it will break the system. So, inside there is a readme file, a small one, that's saying, okay, everything what's around this readme file, this text file here, is inactive. So we have another subfolder. So we have the main modular mods folder, that is the one we see right now here. It's empty. There's nothing inside because, yeah, we just uh, uh, installed the base files. We didn't install any mod whatsoever. So here's the space you can like download the other mods, put them here and think maybe you want to use them, maybe you don't want to use them, maybe you want to use them later. Uh, we will see. Okay, so then we have the subfolder active. It's called active, so you can't miss it. And at the moment there's a start screen ERP inside, um, which is only for cosmetics. Because this will only show this screen here. I can't show you uh, in-game at the moment because when I open my Formula 1 game while having Streamlabs open, the Formula 1 game crashes. I don't know why, I can't fix it. Anyway, so this is the screen that would welcome you at the uh, start select button. It's saying modular mods and then you know, alright, this system is working. And this is how you re remove mo mods actually from my system. Just cut them out, go on up and put them here. See? It's now in the modular mods folder. It is not in the active folder. There's nothing in the active folder, so there is no mod active. Okay, so this is the base. This is the base we need for other modular mods I created to work. Well, maybe we need modular mods then if you want to use them, right? I think so too. So we go back here to race department and I have a few of my mods already adjusted to the new file system. So we have the reverse grid order mod, some really like it. We have the more DS. Let's go with the more DS zones here. So again, we have here overview page. 
that's stating what has been changed and the new requirements that you need these bay files we just installed we just downloaded and are using right now uh, we go on download here we have the new zip file we check out our where is my oh yeah it's the downloads <laughs> All right, here. So this is my downloads folder. This is the new zip file for the more DRS zones. And inside of that zip file is nothing more than a readme file and an ERP file. This ERP file is the, the container where all those edited files actually are existing. And we copy that one. We copy only the ERP file, nothing else. We copy that one. And now you have the choice. You can either just put it here in the common modular mods folder and say, yeah, maybe I'll use it. I don't know. Maybe, well, yeah, well, maybe, maybe not. Or you say, yeah, sure. I want to have more of the X zones become active. And so you put the ERP into the active subfolder. And that's all you have to do. That's seriously all you have to do for the whole uh, mod system to work. Just use the folder, never rename those, please, never rename those, because else it will break everything up. Because the other files we edited is somewhere here hidden, it is hidden. Now you can, of course, you can check it out. It's not hidden, like, you will never find it. You can go in the zip files of the base files and you see, okay, what has been edited. Okay, this is the UI package, it's just for the, for the screen to show you, it's cosmetics. And the game package, I used the achievements to achieve it. Ah. Uh, that was a bad one, but anyway. So, and inside, inside of that, inside of that uh, file, you, you never need to touch it. Never. You will never need to touch this file. It's just showing, like here, uh, what, what, um, what the game is already waiting to load. So, I have... Um, I have um, prepared this file to load already modular mods that will come or that are already existing. And it does not matter if you don't have any of those mods here or just have one or two. It doesn't matter because if it's not here, if it's not here in the, in the modular mods folder, not here in the active folder, if it's not there, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. There's, there's no, no issue with that. It's just prepared. So you can use the modular mods, any one you like, uh, any... And you like. Uh, there will there will more come. A few of my old mods need to be adjusted for that. Uh, if you have been changed already, the reverse grid is new. And you can just use it. You have now set up the base files. You can download one of those. Bada bing bada. You can even open it right now. Why bother going to the downloads folder? Use the ERP, put it into the active. F1 2020 modular mods active and then it's active and one day you say no I don't like reverse grids it was fun but I don't like it okay cut it out you can also delete it or you cut it out put it one up and say okay yeah maybe I'll use it later on again so this is all you have to do and some way asks, so what is the whole purpose like is it just for using as a mod manager or what is the whole purpose of the whole stuff the thing is my mods are working completely modular which means you see inside this is special file i created all my mods are special files that i create they will not overwrite original game files you will never have to mess again with some original game files with just one the one from the achievement oh, but i will up today i will update this when it's needed else you will never have to mess around with with any of the original game files you know for the other mods used to uh, go here and put it there and go here and put it there and place it here and place it there and then somehow a, a patch came up and it, it, it screwed everything over it overrode all your mods and you maybe have to have to verify your steam uh, game files and it's 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 a mess it's just a fucking mess that's why I thought no that that's not fun so now we have the modular mods folder and everything we want to use is inside here. Of course, it does not work with mods that don't use my modular mod system. There will more come, there will more uh, templates be, um, be existing for liveries. I mean, I have those already existing, but they're not adjusted for the new file system. Sadly. Like you can see here in my list, uh, we have this um, 
one of my favorites. No, we can't see because we were looking for a modular. <laughs> Sorry about this. I'm misleading you right now. Okay, check out my resources. Um, like this is one of my special here, like the my team for all teams. So you can use all deliveries. It is still for the old system, so there's still something overwritten. Not much of the origin files, just the asset group files. But anyway, the whole system is just for you to have a comfortable way of uh, moving around files, uh, of editing files, of uh, for using mods without messing around your game too much, without messing around for new patches or whatever. I hope you will enjoy it. I hope you will use some of my mods and have fun with it, because that's the whole purpose, to have fun. Alright guys, so this was a small tutorial video, I hope it helped for someone, like for the Formula 1 2020 modular mods system installation and using. Alright, thanks for being here with me and maybe see you next time.